Let's watch it. Apparently it's the finale. I can't believe it. What about Blackwing Lair? <laughs> Rebirth and Ragnaros, the fin finale of Rav's hardcore journey. Okay. Attention gamers. Okay. Previously on Last my hardcore episode. journey. I took on the two hardest leveling achievements in the game by slaying an albino man bear pig who was pegging my internet gf and then oh, bare yeah. naked kiting the deadliest scorpion in azeroth with rav walk toggled on to prove that no hardcore element would be left unmastered. I teamed up with Ampi to avenge his previous character's death on my final kill before level 60 and vowed that the series wouldn't end until I defeated Ragnar. That was a pretty good 60 moment. That was a good 60 moment. Oh, he goes straight into it! Oh, damn! What? Oh, is this when we were there? We need a doctor. Oh! I had no idea he was doing this while we were standing there. He walked around with his ghost? I had no idea. Oh, damn. Now to understand how this happened, I need to take you back to where we left off. I hit 60 and despite being showered with the server's praise I knew that the more important ding level 60 was yet to happen. Howard's Similar level. to me planning an epic last kill, Howard had a poetic plan for his two, to get his final level killing off the ghosts of his relatives haunting their pig family. He was adamant on doing the work himself and refused to let me mob tag for him. <laughs> We spent days in those playlands until he was just one kill away. Are you ready, Howard? Nice speech bubble for Howard. You bet your ass. Easy for Howard. His ding wasn't publicly advertised, but I made sure to let him know I was proud and then throw him a party with some of Stormwind's finest baddies that I could find. Damn Howard, you pig. <laughs> oh my god. But it was at this time where everyone gathered for our pre-raid guild meeting because Papa oh, Soda yeah. needed to make an important announcement. I think, I think that's I'm me, I'm ready maybe? to show you guys the roster, show you all who is going to be in our first raid. It is subject to change. Rav, kick a um, chance. I worked on this last night with Ampi. Uh, Hunters. We only hunters. have two hunters in this raid. The two hunters that we do have in the raid are going to be Dizzy and Rav. This meant I had work to do in the form of waking up Rav and checking in. the mail, which was just full of surprises, like my long lost father trying to capitalize on my <laughs> newfound fame by finally coming back from the store years later with the milk. Oh but my, wait, 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 wait. Capitalize on my newfound fame. I'm sorry for being away for so long, my son. I went to get some milk and got kidnapped by some big booty purple pickle eaters in Darnassus and sadly contracted Ligma. <laughs> I'm okay, do not worry. But you have a destiny to fulfill, to show all the other hunters in this world that they are just wannabe cucks. Attached with this letter is everything you have been missing to make this happen. Be the best. Also ninja loot everything because it's all hunter gear. Much love, your father. <sighs> well, that's the father of a hunter, right? But it also meant I had to do some honeydews in order to unlock the raid, which started with sex elf Robin Hood here, who was like, dog, we got a dragon problem, and you probably need to leech off of your guildies to kill some elites. <laughs> to guildies. which I thank them by taking the single fight that I beat them in DPS and posting it online to patronize their tiny little damage. But on the real Sardaco oh as a homie, God. and when I saw that an Egyptian Godzilla breeder tramp stamped his ass a few days later, I gave him the fattest 07 you've ever seen. Oh, yeah, Sardaco died. But oh, when seven. I told Robin Hood that we beat level 1 of Bloons Tower Defense Burning Steps Edition, he said we are gonna need backup from Stormwind, so I figured I would use my clout to get an appointment with the king himself, who was all like, whoa, 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 talk to my wife about that shit, who, by the way, turned out to be a total bitch. I was standing right next to you, imbecile. She was all sus and then said only pussies would investigate further, which made me curious, so I spent an hour talking to just about every breathing creature in the Eastern Kingdoms until some drunk told me about some shit that went down in the mountain. We were in the yeah, about Mountain when the filthy animals attacked. I grabbed some of the most feared comrades I could find and we went in. 
We found the dude that was captured but he was all like yeah I give up this game has sucked the soul out of me and I was like suit yourself until days later I found a note that said the local McDonald's was bringing back the McCrib and all of a sudden the dude was highly motivated to get out of there. Oh, we I escorted see. him as he unlocked all his friends, but he only seemed to talk to Fandy and thank oh her for my the help. God. And I'm thinking, hey, pervert, I have a pair of tits too, and just because no one is paying to see mine doesn't mean I'm not deep in this mountain's asshole saving you too. But long story short, we rescue him, and he tells us <laughs> to meet hilarious. him in Stormwind in an hour for what will be some juicy ass drama. I decide while I'm here to get attuned to some core that's molten, which involved trying to save 15 minutes of time on two. Oh my that god, they did this! I played time too by trying to glitch our way through lava. Uh oh, I was not gonna do that. At some practice, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop. Are they right practice here? The uh, the red bar reaches. So let's spend an hour practicing how to lava jump instead of spending five minutes to clear the extra mobs. Hmm. Just the green uh, vertical bar. I figured that's uh -oh, the worst not that could happen. Did he make it? Wait, did he go in without UI? They're just healing him? Oh, no, no, he had the UI, okay. Anyways, was it was <laughs> now time for me to find out the drama that our prison break McRib lover Fair was enough. about to reveal. He said the queen... Oh, they told him to jump after, no, before green bar instead of after. They explained it wrong. Well, did he get it in the end? I can't tell because he wasn't really showing his HP. So I, I mean, he was, but it was hard to tell if he was just being healed or if he was making it. Queen has some Shrek turns into an ogre dragon at midnight shit going on and I wasn't going to be the one to piss on his parade. We venture into the keep and even though I personally had my doubts I loved to stir the pot so I made sure she caught a few strays from me Show but to my surprise this conspiracy theory was true as shit and half of the guard Whoa. staff was apparently undercover. I ran around trying to spread the word but then I realized that if Rab the Avatar couldn't save Stormwind, no one could. My ego got in the way of listening to Howard and even though I thought the Ravatar could help, Soda warned about there was these one mobs. hardcore element I had yet to face. Death. actual one shot i felt empty inside as my first thought was what would happen to howard oh howard my second thought was how can i somehow make money off of this if i'm in Mon molten core with you on saturday you have to buy my mouse pad i'll buy two and one for russell it's where he can put his plates Link and then below, my third thought was that I just pads. died two days before raid and the odds of me making it back in time were slim. We can power level you go again. There's no time. He can't get power leveled back all the way up there. There's no way. It's not possible. I just don't think that Rav's going to hit 60 by the time we start a raid. Just give up. Unironically, just the only up. way it's possible is either A, he takes hard drugs or account shares. Uh, because he has to play 24 hours a day, and then that's also only getting level 60. I'm kind of down the bet 500 that he won't do it by raid. You also need to get attuned. It's not going to happen. But deep down I knew this was all part of my destiny. Just give up. It's over. It is what it is. Just give up. And hundreds of Fangsley members were going to help me prove the wrong so and so to said this. So and I need people. him to tell me what he's going to do. I only had one answer for him. Enter world. Only Fangsley. <laughs> Hour one. Hour two. A Revy with a bow. Hour seven. Holy shit. Hour 13. He's 29 here. That was pretty fast. Hour 19. Join Fangsley! He wasn't Fangsley! I'm honored to be in your ranks. Hour 23! The last service we will give you. Hour 25. <laughs> nice! Troll necklaces. He made it to 50, Pog. Holy shit, this is so cool. In just over a day. Wait, 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 what? From 49 to 50 in seven minutes. <laughs> That's 
Seven minutes of clicking quests is actually a long time, but yeah, that's insane. <laughs> in just over a day, Fangsley got me back to level 50, but now my fate would be in the hands of a midget named P. Penis from Asmongold's Roach Guild who informed me that there was no backup plan for me if things went wrong. After being awake for two days straight at this point, I wasn't trusting my own. <laughs> things went wrong. After so the backup plan is don't F up the first plan. After being awake for two days straight at this point, I wasn't trusting my own ability to avoid death, so I was absolutely not prepared for his goddamn Roblox obstacle course over elite mobs just to get to the next step in my journey. Nice jump. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Wait, I didn't do this when I was boosted in CG. Is this a different tactic? Oh, this is just STV? Wait, I'm confused. What are they doing? What is this? Is this to avoid the guards? Couldn't they just have gotten some Fangsley members? Getting to ZG without summon? He wanted to make it dramatic? <laughs> he didn't want to just get summoned? And before I could I mean, even fair process play. what just happened. So what the F was that? That was walking instead of getting summoned. Yeah. Little PP head here was already telling me that one of my guildies died in the next step while giving me the most vague explanation of what he did wrong. Oh yeah, this is what I did. It's kind of scary. <clears throat> really close to those guys. And then but you with hang it, out I had made on it to the rock. rock where I yeah. would sit for 10 minutes at a time in hopes of getting XP orgasms from him grinding raid mobs. XP orgasms. And with 12 hours till raid and two levels to go, I accepted a bribe from Papa Soda to join back into the only fang guild. 6,000 gold? gold that would be used. Soda, why am I not getting 6,000 gold? <laughs> Rav laundering Soda's gold. I wonder if this gold was deleted. From Papa Soda to join back into the only fangs guild. Gold that would be used for the final step of the journey. To the auction house. Okay. And there it is. Level 60! And in a 34-hour marathon, we had done it. He had more people watching him get 50 than 60. <laughs> I guess everyone is sleeping. <laughs> They've been awake for too long. And been granted our raid spot back, but there were still doubters. You've earned your raid spot. I still spot. don't think he's going to make it to raid, so what's the point of this shit? Wait, why not? It, it takes like an hour or two to do that attunement. That's not bad. He's going to make it to raid. He's got to get to tuned. I just don't see it happening. That doesn't take Little too long. Little did he know that I would be walking by his side an hour later to achieve my attunement to the Molten Core. And while I had successfully ascended as Rab the Avatar, Howard could not complete the journey with me as he was still loyal to my former dead self. I asked his brothers and they informed me that only his ghost existed in the world while he himself remained tethered to his oh, dead owner and rumor no. was his ghost could be found in the Plaguelands. My friends in Fangsley located his ghost and supported me as I tamed him oh, to fight shit. by my side for the remainder of my journey. We followed a trail. <laughs> oh, the typo! Journey. It's okay. All right, it's happening. It's happening. Plagued swine. Howard's ghost. It was That's now time to finish made. my attunements, but we weren't out of the clear yet. Talk to me if you got it. Kill the other guys in the back here. Oh! I feared them. I feared oh them. my uh, god! Yeah, the, the Arcana Smiths have to die, guys. Corey hey, almost died. We pull shield. behind. I shield wall here. This is pretty. This is pretty monks, guys. Is this a Petri? Yeah, this might be a Petri. Is it? Guys, just can we, can we AOE them down? Yeah, I'm healing you still. I uh, killed the. I, I marked us. Can we AOE them? Someone already ran away. <laughs> who was that who ran away? <laughs> go on, go back. Oh, he came back. 
Every, everyone's. I, I already Petrid. Oh, it's Grayson. I got scared. Okay, guys, do we, do we all have Petris? A few hours after hitting 60, I had to use a pussy potion just to survive the attunement, but no matter how little sleep or how deadly the tasks were ahead of me, I had a death to avenge and a destiny to fulfill. Damn, he almost died during the attunement. Those are my pigtails. That's me, mom, I'm on camera. I missed this walk. <laughs> I was still kneeling. And there walks the hero. It's a good walk. Yeah, that's what I almost died. That's the body. There it is! He avenged him. In two days. In two days he managed to avenge him. For Howard, let's go! All the snowballs! <laughs> yeah, his body was still there. Because apparently bodies don't disappear until a server reset. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's me saying for Rav. I see it in the chat, actually. It's me saying for Rav right now. But I should have said for Howard. Mistakes were made. A bit too close. I said for Howard before that? Okay, that's good. He Petried? Why? Cinematic effect? And with that, I had overcome the final hardcore element, death. And it was finally time for what we had all been waiting for. Time is racing toward us. Oh my god. It is great time. Oh shit. If you learned mechanics, <laughs> that's so we good. Just might survive. You're not ready for the raid molten core. So pack up, go home, you're through. Oh, this is so cool. I make a raid out of you. The first I'm boss inside with the Howard. Trinixia, whose sneaky storm wind simps killed my first character and even though my heart had a beat faster than an EDM concert, the instructions were clear. Step on a crack break your mother's back and then when purple Charizard takes flight I bust a nut on all my cooldowns. Yep, nice. After the most intense 17 seconds we were in the final phase until literally everyone <laughs> Was it really only 17 seconds? I'm surprised we had no deaths yet. Not damage, not damage. Not damage. Oh, okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. Good. And that's it. Good and that's it. Easy life, baby. And just like that, it's over. Two minutes. Two minutes. That was easy as shit. Easy as shit. But when my own easy performance was subpar, I had to channel my inner WoW player to find the cause. You know, I'm glad my name is not even on the list. <laughs> uh, I was not in the raid, guys. Yeah, I was not in the raid. That's why. It was now time for us to venture. <laughs> Illegal post, not allowed. Into the molten core and for me to use yeah, the, was not in the raid. footage for my comprehensive guide on how to one shot this place. The first boss everyone turns their monitors off and jams a one button rotation. At one point Howard's ghost was looking like he needed some loving so I spent my Aww. fight mending his wounds. The second was a large dog who would occasionally get swollen and us hunters would have to epipen him before he bit off a tank's head. Boss numero 3 was the first time numero I saw three. myself on the damage meters. Pog. For a second before it disappeared and never came back. <laughs> Gar was the first boss where people thought we'd have deaths and it's because every time one of his little sperm cells pieces out everyone around him is all like But we made it through with no deaths 
The next boss had a mechanic where one single person could kill everyone if they didn't get out of range oh, yeah, when yeah, they yeah, were yeah. marked. Italian, Italian, Italian guy, guy, living bomb, Italian guy, I'm calling it out. Italian guy, get out. And all I'm saying is thank God no one was apparently listening to Soda because his add-on broke and whispered every single person in raid that they were the target every time he- Really? I had no idea. You are the bomb, go to safe spot? I don't think I got that whisper. Oh, wait, is it fake main fang? This is fake. It's a fake account. It's a fake one. It's not soda. Oh my god. Someone was trolling. Someone was trying to sabotage. We need to investigate. Who is this? Who do we think it is? Who was the one who was going to pay if some people died in the raid? Nick. NMP. Trace it. Trace it. <laughs> this was NMP confirmed. <laughs> Caught in 4K. <laughs> oh my god. Even when they weren't. I then had my few moments in Raid to Shine. I wanna pull it, but I also don't yet. Yeah, I we're think gonna you pull. Can the needle. Uh, Rab, you wanna try and thread that needle? Pull that core hound. Oh, you please. you fucked this up. Oh god. I you actually have a bubble. Oh god, okay, oh, Adamax, you're bubbling. Adamax, you're bubbling. Yeah, this is me. I got it. You're fucking yeah. right, we are Rab. Pull it. I believe in the Rabatar. Go Rab. That's it, right there. Right in the Whoa. middle. Woo. Every time. Okay. Baby. Miz, you're nice. tanking it. Miz, you're tanking it. Fenboy hole, bubble. Fenboy hole, bubble. Before Fem we spent Boy 13 Hole. minutes. <laughs> that name. It's 80% Miz's fault. That's true. It's always 80% Miz's fault. That's true. It's talking about the next boss and then a total of 13 seconds killing him. Holy shit, he's just melting. Fuck this. Just kill him. If there's a mechanic on the next boss, it must have called in sick that day because I wasn't even tabbed into the game for this one. But then the next lava <laughs> lamp gone rogue raid boss had a job for me. I would have to get the attention no of one of his little slaves and bring them to a tank. The only problem was they got a glance of Fandy's tits and for the life of me I couldn't distract it over. No one noticed. <laughs> Alright, just do damage. We now had two bosses no left one and noticed, I felt like she things had were going a little too smooth so I had a plan. Ampi and I spent the next 15 minutes devising an evil plan where I would feign death during the next boss and he would send out a raid warning saying that I had died. The it whole thing work. was going to be dank as fuck until my feigned death decided to just not update my frames so we only got a taste of the reaction we were going for. We are on moon now, the last one, and that is it. Yo, threat! <gasps> Rav? Rav is dead. What? No. What? Mm. Oh my god, Fucking you're so finish, dumb. Finish the game. Uh, what's, a, what's a raid alert? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> His feigned death didn't work. And then there was Rag. The final Ragnaros. boss and the goal for day one of our guild, and while the others were strategizing and getting ready to min-max their DPS, I had my own plan for this fight. He resisted the first pushback. There we go. Now he got it. Damn! That's so cool! I fell the fire! We got a little bit of spoilers because we, we saw low. the group clip. Five, group five. Come back, I'm coming back. But that's cool. Oh my Come god, on. that looks so funny. We did it. We did it. Ragnaros is down. And with that, oh no, I heard myself say zero deaths. Sleepless Cringe. nights and gold spent by Fangsley and other viewers carrying idiot streamers oh. like myself who barely lifted idiot a finger streamers. and we had done it. But in the midst of the celebrations, deep down I knew there was still one thing I had to do. Oh shit. And there was that? only one way I could do it. I'd transfer oh! my character so that I could come back to life and call him one last time. Oh, no but I knew way! what had to be done. He was being extra clingy after having not been fed because while I was no busy way he my did destiny, that. he was stuck back, tethered to a dead character who could no longer take care of him. I arrived at the spot that I had found him, his family around to welcome him back. I looked at him, and for one last time, I slashed no! Pat Howard. He's not gonna release him, is he? Yes, Pet Howard. No! That's permanent for hunters, isn't it? No! Oh 
shit, he's gone! So after what started for me asking no. to join a guild full of people who had no idea who I was. Who is this Rav guy? Is it the League Rav guy? I don't know who the fuck Rav I experienced who the craziest the leveling guy? journey not once, but twice. I was welcomed by the most incredible community I've seen online. Oh, and I got emotional awesome. over a Stop pig it. in a video game. And that is the story of Rav the Avatar. Days but later. what I didn't realize was that me letting Howard go was what I needed to release his ghost and I immediately knew what this meant. Are we gonna find him here? In this world? He's going to Dunmaro. Yes! <laughs> the edit! Oh, come on! This is too good. Stop it. Oh! No way. That was too good. No, 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 no. I don't want to see random Destiny drama. Stop it. Holy, holy moly. That was too good. How, how was it this good? So Howard is back now? Holy crap, this was so good. The emotional roller coaster. <laughs> the Lazar has no business being that good. Yeah, I know. It's so creative, like moving his character to the other server and everything. <laughs> Howard is back! Exactly, Howard is back. <laughs> Holy shit, that was so good. You know, the, the crazy thing is, in the end, it's actually good that he died because it made such an amazing finale. But I know, like, you know, he struggled to be able to get back from that. But, you know, that became such a beautiful arc. Are you saying you want to kill your warlock for content? No, I'm not this creative at making such a good story. Holy moly. If I died, I would just, you know, have a hundred hours of pain to get back and that's it. <laughs> Are you crying? No, I'm not crying. You're crying, chat. You're crying. 